Hello everyone, welcome to Urbanscape Bangalore and in this episode we will look at a very unique gardening idea that has been inspired from these Russian matryoshka dolls. So I saw this technique on Gardening Australia and they called it the babushka method wherein actually babushka means old woman in Russia. And a lot of people were pointing out that this is actually the matryoshka method. Even I feel this whole concept, which you will see in some time, has been inspired by these matryoshka dolls. But whatever the name, I love watching Gardening Australia. So just like how the dolls differ in size and can be fit inside each other like this, this technique also uses the pot in a pot concept where you have a larger pot like this and then smaller pots within the large one. Now this might all look senseless but I'll tell you why and who can benefit from this method later. So first let us see how it is done and then look at why it is done. So first take the larger pot and you need some potting mix as well. So I'm just using a regular potting mix of just sand and compost. You can add some cocoa peat if you want. Now add little bit of soil inside this big pot and you can add the next sized pot and check the level of the rim of this container and it should not be too deep or too high. The rim must be at the same level. So you can remove the potting mix if you see any kind of level difference. After adding the second container, add the smallest and in my case, my last container inside the second one. Here, I used a not so small container. I should have used a smaller container to get more space for the second ring cuttings. After this, backfill completely with the potting mix so that the level of the rims of all the container must be in unison. And the rings of the containers must be exposed like this. Now take plant cuttings that you want to grow. I am using the Gongura stem cutting which is an edible leaf used extensively by the people of Andhra and Telangana in their dishes. I will be adding the Gongura cuttings in the outermost portion. To prepare the cuttings, just remove the lower leaves and add it as is. The next ring will have the geranium ivy cuttings. So there's no hard and fast rule that you have to use the same plants. You can use cuttings or even seeds if you want. But this method is primarily more suited for cuttings. After the second ring, the final ring will have some mint leaf cuttings. Now water the arrangement and keep it in a semi-shaded place. So let me tell you now how this technique can help and who it can benefit. Now there are many instances where we have multiple cuttings in one container and what happens is that some cuttings give out fruits more quickly than the others. But if we have to harvest the rooted ones, we will be disturbing the one that hasn't rooted just as yet. So to avoid this, you can remove the containers one by one like this with the help of these exposed pot rings. And check the root development of your cuttings and then remove the ones that have rooted separately and repot it and put the container back so that the other cuttings keep growing undisturbed. So folks, this is the whole purpose of this unassuming gardening concept. So for example, the mint will grow more quickly than the geraniums. And you can just remove the mint out and grow something else in its place, leaving the geranium to grow. This technique might help a lot of beginner gardeners to learn root development in different plants and make gardening an enriching experience with such experimental gardening concepts. So with this, we've come to the end of yet another episode of Urbanscape Bangalore and I really hope you've enjoyed this program. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. The links are given below. So thank you for watching and until we meet again, a very warm goodbye.